Good morning, good morning, good night, and good afternoon. We're back. We're on the jump site with Simon and the guys. We got concrete. Let's get into it. It's a beautiful day. It's Friday. Woohoo! Alright, guys, this is the job. Waffle pond. Beautiful. One little step down over there. Another one over there, and another one here. It's alright. Shed slab's already done. That looks good over there. Very nice. Alright, let's go. Hey! <laughs> There's Dino, there you go. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Concrete Ninja. I finally got some work so I can make another video for you guys. It's a beautiful day. If you haven't seen the last video, go check out the last video. I put a heap of TikTok videos up of crazy people doing crazy shit, some weird, weird sort of stuff. And some dangerous stuff as well. Anyway, what are you doing this? The plan of attack is to put mud in all the beams and we're going around the outside we're locking all the pods in see you down here just vibrate that now down the bottom and then we'll do the top part and then we'll vibrate the, the top boxing and then um, we'll pick the bottom up pick the brick rebate up Just throwing all the beams now. I'm gonna start doing that floor over there, I reckon. I'll try to get as much as I can for you today. Hope you guys are enjoying your week. Alright, alright. Russ is putting some brackets in. This is a build up, Russ. Put some profiles up. Good way to do it. Yeah, that's a good way to do it, that's for sure. Profiling it. Lock it in. Lamps are going to go up around it. It's nice and wet. Ross is just checking them over there. All good, Ross? Yeah, just need a bit more of a clip. Look at the little tweak. Put mm -hmm. a rock in there. Start doing your step down. So you fill your step downs up first because you want them to dry for this. So you can actually strip them and walk along there as quick as possible. You try to do a strip as far as you can out, like about a meter out. So when we walk with the helicopter, we can fix it up. So we're cruising along. We've got the first little bean over there. Start doing pads here. Someone's a gun, he's on a pump and he's been putting pads in for me. It's good. Good team effort, you got a good team, it's good. That was a tricky bit over there, now we can just smash out this bit. Alright, I'm gonna go get. Me shit. Well past eight it is. And um I reckon we got nearly half the house in. Oh, we got a fair bit to go still. Someone just having a pump. A little bit of blockage. It happens. Um yeah. We're getting there. 
Turn your light brighten. All the beams. All around the outside. Alright, let's go. Let's pull some more. There you go, Lance. Going good. Pretty good. Yes. Today's video is going to be about, do you reckon concreting makes um, males fertile? Like, have, have you noticed how many concreters are pregnant right now? Like, their missus is pregnant? I was going to say, are you pregnant? No, my yeah. missus is. Richie's missus is. If mine is, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> But I just say there's so many people actually pregnant today. Like our, oh, yeah. our mates, like there's probably over seven of our friends have having kids at this time right now. So it's pretty weird. And they're just all horny. Yeah, huh? So maybe it's got something to do with the concrete. <laughs> what do you guys reckon? Is that could that be possible? That concrete makes you more fertile? And um, look at me, I'm 48 years old and I'm actually having another kid. I didn't think I was gonna have another kid. And you know they say about smoking makes you have no boys you only have girls well I'll go, I'm not a boy so <laughs> that theory is out the door but um if you are you having a kid right now and you're a concrete I'll leave a comment down the bottom if your missus is pregnant or just had a baby in the last couple of like last six months let us know so it's, it's pretty interesting to wonder <laughs> you'll have all these people in the concrete they aren't fertile they'll so come concrete and help us out ah! <laughs> all right let's go half past nine and we got the whole house in now I just did all that bit in here again. Haven't screwed the whole house for a while. Probably done about 80% of it so far. I'm gonna start doing this video here now. Probably break it in two. And work our way back. So far, so good. Happy days, happy days. And a lot of you guys ask me all the time, which edge do you use? Look, the sharp edge, the sharp edge, and there's a round edge. The sharp edge here is towards you like that. And you grab the screw and pull it this way. So you cut with this one, and you finish with this one. It's 10.40, we've had it, we've had it in now for a little while. I just broke. Just broke the back bit up there with the master finish chopper. It's a bit wet still, so. So wait a little bit longer. 11.30 it is. I'm nearly broken half of it. I'd say we'll be here till at least dark and 2.30, 3 o'clock I reckon at least. The time it goes off. Got all that step down now. Got all that step down now. Going down to here. It looks like it's driver us now. Back up there and hit the whole thing again. Should be able to hit this bit. Good times. Let's go. Alright guys, it's two o'clock and I have finished the big slab. Turned her all off. Boys are, the boys are stripping. They've done it all. <laughs> we just got this back bit to strip I think and that's it. And the slab itself looks pretty good. There's different concrete they're saying. We had there was supposed to be a key joint in here. They gave us some different concrete so we didn't have to put a key joint in. Haven't really heard about that before, but uh, all good. Master Finish did an awesome little job. Thanks, Master Finish. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like an oasis. It's a bit like velvet. Different angles show different things. Just finishing this one off. Yeah, pretty wet. Oh well, let's go. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that so far. Wasn't too much action, just Lance. <laughs> but um, I was just on the top of the whole time, so I couldn't really stop. Couldn't really say nothing. And I don't want to lose a slab for Simon, so just have to keep going. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll talk to you at the end. We're nearly finished, so I'll talk to you when we're finished. All right, guys, it's 2.30 and we're done. The boys have packed everything up. We cleaned everything up. Just gotta put this chopper on and she is done for the day. And the wheelbarrows. Hope you've enjoyed. It wasn't too much action, but you know how it goes. We gotta go, 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 go. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed that. Bit of a house slab, it was, I think it was 320 squares. 
all up with three step downs. So that's pretty good. There's only a couple of us as well. Probably could have had an extra person, but we handled it pretty good. So good times. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you can give us a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. Leave a comment, that'd be cool. And make sure to leave a comment and tell us if you're having a baby. <laughs> leave a comment if you're having a baby in the next six months or the next last last 12 months. I want to see if he's, um, his concrete makes you fertile. I don't know. Richie, Richie's about to have another baby. Must have made him fertile. Hi, Richie. <laughs> it made me. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. See you, boys. Bye-bye. Right, and my day is not over yet. <laughs> Luckily, Gregory's got a pump. Because my tyre's flat. I need some new tyres. We get new tyres next week. I've never seen these little air hawks. Yeah, buddy. Sorry. You do anything inside? Yeah, <laughs> it had 10 psi in it. Stay up between so far. <laughs> Definitely need new tyres. Yeah, Make sure you watch the ad so I can make some money to buy new tyres. <laughs> All good. Thanks, Gregory. 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 Thanks,